Gotta love this music. <clears throat> Anyways. Hello everybody and welcome to Stardew Valley. <coughs> and guys, I have wanted to play this game for so long now. Um, oh, beautiful. I have wanted to play this game for so long now, people. You have no idea. Fox and Socks Farm, there we go. Favorite thing. Animal preference, dog. No, I'm a dude. I am not making a Martian. How about right there? There we go. Guys, oh, finicky. Okay, guys, we're just gonna go for bright fucking red hair. And since we're making me. There we go.
Oh, there's a lot of farms. At night, the monsters come out? <clears throat> At night, the monsters come out. I think this will make it a lot more interesting. Should we call it the Fox and Socks Farm? I don't know. It's either Fox and Socks Farm or Foxfire Farm. I think I'm gonna call it the Fox and Socks Farm. This is too cutesy though. I do want to do the wilderness farm, so... This first one's gonna be a little uh, long, but what we're gonna be doing is day by day gameplay, essentially. And for my very special grandson. I want you to have this sealed envelope, or envelope. No, no, don't open it yet, have patience. Now listen close. There will come a day when you feel crushed by the burden of modern life. I know. And your bright spirit will fade before a growing emptiness. This is why I love games like this. When that happens, my boy, you'll be ready for this gift. A dull moment, huh? I let Grandpa rest. Several years later. Joja, <laughs> join us! Thrive! <coughs> oh god. Oh god, dead at his desk. Really hope there's a barber. <laughs> and your kid, if you're reading this, you must be in dire need of a change. Same thing happened to me long ago. I'd lost sight of what mattered most in life. Real connections with other people and nature. So I dropped everything and moved to a place I truly belonged. Yes, if Lewis is still alive, say hi to the old guy for me, will ya? I really hope this isn't a thing. That pointer. Having to use a pointer with a controller is really bad. It's really hard. So hopefully that's not the case. Bus ride out into the beautiful valley. Stardew Valley. 0.5 miles. And 
this first episode is going to be a little long, but like I said, we're going to be doing this just day by day, essentially. Oh, you must be Kit. I'm Robin, the local carpenter. Mayor Lewis sent me here to fetch you and show you the way to your new home. He's there right now tidying up things, or tidying things up for your arrival. The farm's right over here if you follow me. Control is gonna get weird. This is Black Fox Farm. <laughs> What's the matter? I'm sure, it's a bit overgrown, but there's a good soil underneath that mess. With a little dedication, you have it. Uh, you'll have it cleaned up in no time. And here we are, your new home. Ah, the new farmer. <laughs> Welcome, I'm Lewis, mayor of the uh, of Pelican Town. You know everyone's been asking about you. Not every day that someone new moves in, it's quite a big deal. So you're moving to your grandfather's old cottage. It's a good house, very rustic. Rustic means beaten down, apparently. Rustic, that's one way of putting it. Crusty might be a little more apt, though. <laughs> oh, rude! Is satisfied so that you buy one of her house upgrades. Oh man. <laughs> anyway, you must be tired from the long journey. You should get some rest. Tomorrow, you ought to explore the town a bit and introduce yourself. The townspeople would appreciate that. <laughs> I'm sure they would. Oh, I almost forgot. If you have anything to sell, just place it in the box. I'll come and buy during the night to collect it. Well, good luck. Monsters come out at night, though, apparently. <laughs> so we'll do the first day here. Oh god, it is a thing. Okay, so I don't have to keep rapping on the button.
I have email. Two of 28 people to greet. Holy fuck. <clears throat> Bus to Calico Desert is out of service. Okay. Let's go meet everybody. I am the Axeman! Fuck. Ah, <laughs> uh, Mary Luce told me just, eh, just arrived. I'm Marion. Or Marnie. <laughs> Pretty name. I sell livestock and animals care products. Uh, livestock and animal care products at my ranch. You should swing by sometime. Star Drop Saloon. <clears throat> Hi. Oh, did you want something? Oh no, graveyards. An op done you do... What the shit? Close until summer. What are you? Okay, no. <clears throat> of course not. Not like I want to go into your bedroom anyways. Oh, welcome to Stardew Valley Archaeologist's Office. Uh, this is embarrassing, but the previous curator made off with the entire collection. We don't have any artifacts for display, but I'm hoping to remedy that soon. If you find any artifacts or minerals out there, would you let me know? Sure, why not? <clears throat> Well, my, my, this is embarrassing. By the way, apparently this is at my running pace. Oh, I can't harvest their stuff. Us thrive, Judge of Mark. Judge of Mark, how are you doing? I don't believe we've met. I'm Morris, Judge of Customer Satisfaction Representative. When you decide you want to become a Judge of Member, I'll be delighted to make your transition and Judge of Experience. He's hard at work. He doesn't seem interested in talking. Poor guy.
Hey, kid, the name's Pam. Don't be a jerk and we'll get along fine. I'm Sam. Good to meet you. Sam, you're cute. Says the creepy old man with the long flowing hair. Town Center. Hey, there's a face I don't think I've met. Maru? Oh, aren't you the one who just moved in? I'm Maru. I've been looking forward to meeting you. You know, with a small town like this, a new face can really alter a community dynamic. It's exciting. I remember you. Scientist and father. I'm Demetrius, local scientist and father. Thanks for introducing yourself. I'm studying the local plants and animals from my home laboratory. However, you met my daughter, Maru. Uh, my daughter, Maru. She's interested, uh, interested to meet you. The fine English bug you, bumpkin? Nine of twenty eight people. A stranger? Hello. Don't mind me, I just love I live out here alone. Hello, Linus. Railroad? I knew somehow that I had made a giant, uh, fucking circle. Well, I wound up back home with a fuck ton of stuff to do. Just to get back to my door. Jesus, there's a lot of people to meet. Harvey, it's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Harvey, the local doctor. Perform regular checkups and any medical procedures for all the residents of Pelican Town. It's rewarding work. I hope you'll find your own work equally rewarding in time. Hello, kid. Hello, stranger. My name is Vincent. <laughs> Mama says not to talk to strangers, but you seem okay. Listen to your mother, kid. Oh, you aren't exactly how I imagined, but that's okay, I'm Jody. It's quite a little town, so it's very exciting when someone new moves in. Having a farm around could really change things. 
Hey, kid. Oh, you're that new farmer boy, aren't you? Huh? Oh, I'm Haley. If it weren't for those horrendous clothes, you might actually be cute. Oh, you can go fuck yourself with a wooden spoon, bitch. You can go fuck yourself with a wooden spoon. So apparently, night starts at 6. Hello, nice to meet you. You picked a good time to move here. The spring is lovely. Yes, yes it is. Smell that sewer air. I already talked to you. I already talked to you. How was your first night in the old cottage? Your grandpa used to complain about the rickety old bed, but I think deep down he actually loves that house. Duh. Oh, hey, so you're the new guy, huh? Cool. See you around. Oh, hello, and welcome to our little community, dear. You can call me Granny if you'd like. Oh, it's irritating to have to meet all, all these new people, huh? Name's George, by the way. Now buzz off. <laughs> I like him. He's a dick. I like him. But <laughs> eighteen of twenty eight. Holy shit. Ten more people to meet. Buy a drink if I could afford it. Oh, there, I'm Gus. Chef and owner of the Star Drop Saloon. Hey there, kid. I'm glad to see you. You're always uh, welcome around here. Oh, I can read it on your face. You're going to love it here in Pelican Town. If you ever look for something to do in the evening, stop by the saloon. That's where I work. Well, duh. We're in the saloon. Ah. Hi. I'm Clint. I'm the town blacksmith. If you ever need to upgrade your tools, I'm the guy. I don't know you. Why are you talking to me? Because you're a dick. Did I just find a glitch? I think I just found a glitch, guys. Oh, no. Oh, cool.
Ooh. Well, now I know what that does. Hard-ass game. 8 p.m. Okay, so the monsters are supposed to come out at night on my... Uh, place, apparently. Or in my place, apparently. Oh, you must be Kit, the new farmer. I'm Caroline. Caroline, my husband runs the general store here, and I have met, and have you met my daughter Abigail? She's the pale one with the purple hair. Hey, kid. Uh, hey, it's Mr. Kit, the new farmer. I'm Pierre, owner of the local general store. If you're looking for seeds, my shop is the place to go. I'll also, buy products from your farm for a good price. A little agriculture could really inject new life into the local economy. Oh, you want to sell me seeds, huh? It sounded like somebody just shot on themselves. Let's go see what they mean by the monsters come out at night. Hopefully it actually, uh set itself up proper. It'd suck if it didn't. Well, no monsters. Yet. Maybe I have to get through the tutorial. Anyways. something to get you started, Mayor Lewis. If you want to become a farmer, you have to start with the basics. Use your hoe till the soil... Well, uh, to till the soil, then use a seed pocket on the tilled soil to sow a crop. Water every day until the crop... Okay. There we go, nice and pretty. <sighs> well, folks, this has been wonderful, but, uh, oh man. This game is gonna be interesting, and I am sorry that this one ran so long. 
because all the rest of them are going to be uh, day by day. So this is going to be a day by day series. So all the rest of them are going to literally go from morning until the time I go to bed each day. Which is probably going to be about 15, 20 minutes at a pop. So here's hoping you guys enjoy these. Because um, I think this one's going to last me a long time. It's holy damn. Anyways. For now, though, this is Kit the Soul sign off. So, until next time, everybody. Bye!